Introducing three amazing chicks The band is on the hen house down on Foxer Farm They've gained some height, now they've taken flight They're going to slow those foxes down Oh, it's bombs away, no get away And I'll let you almost every day And no find a flying foul been a guest of honor at a party before. Do you think there'll be boys there? Oh no, but there'll be roosters and that's what interests me. Ooh. <laughs> I wish you two hadn't talked me into this. We shouldn't slack off in the middle of a war. What if the foxes realize we've gone? Don't sweat it, sis. Jeffries and me set up decoys before we left. Boys, double purr. Let's go home and have a planning meeting instead. You know what, Sams? That's a great idea. Really? Definitely. Without us, there'll be nobody to interrupt you. You'll have a great time. See ya. Well, I suppose it can't hurt to let my feathers down and have just one night off. Now that's more like it. Everybody conga. Everybody conga. Hello, boys. Oh. On second thought, maybe we should have that planning meeting after all. Uh-uh, don't worry, girls. I'm sure things will pick up later. I pray. No, 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 no. Honestly, watching paint dry really is very, very interesting. Now, if you look over there, you'll see the six... <laughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Is this purge taken? Uh, uh, no, not really. Then I hope you won't mind if I join you. The name's Wilby, head of the poultry population around here. And you are, of course, the charming Sims, leader of the daring Foxbusters. That's me. On our farm, the fox problem is negotiable, but I'd so adore hearing more about your legendary exploits. Oh, there's been so many, I wouldn't know where to start. Then why not start at the beginning? I'm in no hurry. Hmm, but on the other hand, darker shades make it far harder to discern the drawing process. Oh, I'm so sorry. Will you excuse me? I just remembered I've got to get alive. Bye boy Sure, you. Why, Foghorn? Of course I'll marry. Wake up, Jeffries. We're going home. <coughs> Shouldn't we look for Sims first? No, no need. That stick in a beak probably left hours ago. She's smart. So quick as a wink, I ordered Ransom and Jeffries to dive round behind them in a pincer movement. Like this. You mean, like this? <sighs> You're getting the general idea. But she never misses a planning meeting. Well, her nest hasn't been slept in. No. Yes. You don't think? Never. She couldn't have. Of course not. Jeffries, what are we talking about? I haven't the slightest idea. Well, neither do I. But I know she must be in some terrible danger. Oh, no. I don't believe it. And what do you think you're doing? Go away, Ransom. Can't you see I'm engaged in a high-level conference on military maneuvers? Oh, uh, yeah? And what are you discussing? Hand-to-hand -hand combat? We need you back at the farm. And I'll be there. Soon. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. Fine. I'll just nip off now and put the foxes on hold. Okay! Look, if there is any trouble, I've left a defense plan scribbled on the blackboard. Besides, you still have those decoys, don't you? 
What's the matter, Todd? Are you scared? Any fool can see those things are alive. It says if they attack, we should roll. We should roll them. Roll a teat. You know, something around the foxes. Is it a film or a book? You boys are so gullible. These chickens are just a trick. They're not going in. Roll and ditch. We are done. Rotisserie. Well, B, this has been a wonderful party. But Ransom was right. I should be flying home now. Oh, really, my dear? Duty calls. But wouldn't you like to see how we deal with our own foxes before you go? Well, that could be interesting. Strictly from a military point of view, of course. Oh, of course. Fine. Forget about Sims. Here's my battle plan, okay? Chickens, foxes. Foxes, chickens. Attack, 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 attack! Could you run that past me one more time? Will someone get this thing off of me? You know something. It was a trick. Foxes! Charge! <laughs> My plan is very simple. So simple, in fact. Only an idiot could forget it. You've forgotten it, haven't you? Yep. Foxes, lots of them, and they're through the first line of defence. But this is just an open meadow. I don't see any defences. Allow me to demonstrate, my dear. <gasps> Will be. Those foxes are very, very close. Indeed they are. One might almost think they'd been waiting for us. Sh shouldn't you be doing whatever it is you do to defend yourselves? Oh, you mean you'd like me to deal with them? <laughs> that would be nice. Gentlemen, you heard what the lady said. Let's make a deal. <gasps> My plan. Uh, oh no, it's gone again. They have reached the second line of defense. They have now reached the fourth line of defense. <laughs> the foxes. I think we all knew that wasn't going to be good news. No problem. We still got our fifth line of defense. And what's that? You. Keep them at bay, Jeffries. I'm going to get Sims. Five. Eight. Six. And that's our final offer. Done. We give you the leader of the Foxbusters, and in return, you leave us alone for the next six months. You traitor! You collaborator! All's fair in love and war, my dear. You... you incubator! It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Now, perhaps you'd like to join us for supper. Come on, Cinderella, the ball is over and your sisters need you. Let's go. <laughs> so, have you come up with a cunning battle plan yet? Well, having weighed up all our options in the light of our limited resources and filtered them through a wide range of strategic scenarios, I think we should just uh, attack them. Just attack them? As in, attack, 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 attack. That was my plan. Sometimes the best plans are also very simple. It's the fat one! Gah! Look out! Behind you! I bet it's another trick. The fat one! The fat one! I'm big boy! Oh no! Oh, 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 o
Bosques! Yay! Oh, I gave that girl the best ears of my corn, but did she appreciate it? No. Still, uh, plenty more hens in the coop, eh? You, for instance. What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like...